guys, I'm gonna do a little short video today on how I'm gonna put herbs in a tower like I did my lettuce tower. I'm just gonna add some more soil in. Avoiding the chickens. I just sprinkled a little 10, 10, 10 fertilizer on top and I'm gonna work that down in to the each little section. And kind of press that down. And this is a little pack I got off of Amazon last year. Uh, I'm going to use what's in here. It's got summer savory, Italian basil, Italian parsley, tarragon, chives, cherival, fennel, cilantro, dill, marjoram, sage, lavender, catnip, thyme, rosemary, Italian oregano, mountain mint, and lemon balm. So I'm going to put some of those in these containers. The first seed I'm going to start is dill. And I'm going to put about three or four in each little container. I'm also going to start some of these in my, um, in the greenhouse to plant in my herb garden itself. Okay. So I'm going to lightly cover them with some dirt. Little seeds. Pat those down. And I'll water them all in once I get the different layers. So I'm going to keep going up and let me get another layer filled. Next one I'm going to do is sage. It gets kind of tall also. Gonna cover them just like I did the others and I'll keep going up. The next one I'm doing is rosemary and I'm gonna do it the same. I'm gonna put three in and do the exact same thing I did with the others. Next one I'm doing is chives and I'm just gonna put more 
of these in. So I'll probably use most of this little pack filling these three up. These will reseed themselves um, and come back year after year. Okay, I'm going to do the next one. Next seed I'm going to do is thyme. And they're really tiny, so I'm just going to sprinkle several of them throughout the three sections. And then cover them lightly with soil too. Alright, I'm going to load another one. Next one I'm doing is Italian basil. Again, I'm going to just sprinkle several of those throughout. And get them to roll out of the little pack. And I'm going to cover them and just like I did the others. Next one's Italian parsley. Again, I'm just going to put several in each little cell. <laughs> Let them fill in these cups. And I'm just going to cover these lightly and put my next layer on. All right, the next one I'm doing is Cherville. I'm going to lightly cover those. Next one I'm trying is fennel. I'm going to do three of these to a section. If I need to thin it later, I will. Cover those up, and that's the top of this one. And then I'm gonna move over to my little gray tower. Next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of catnip. I'm just gonna put a few of these in each one of my cells after I get my fertilizer mixed in. Put 
pat my little cells down. My grandma used to have catnip all the time out, right outside her door when I was little. Just a white covering over those. And that's pretty much how I do every one of the things. They don't need a whole lot of dirt, just enough to cover them and have contact with the soil on the bottom and top. Just a light little covering. And again, I'm just going to tap them down to get that good contact. Then I'm going to put the next layer on. And for those who didn't see my other video, I got these from Dollar Tree. Drilled a one inch circle in the center, put the rods down the middle just to give it some more stability and they have to stack them three high if you're just doing them as they are but this works good i had basil and lettuces planted in these last year and they did wonderful and um when i finish this if i don't forget i'll show you what my lettuce tower looks like now that i planted and i just put lemon balm in this one they're teeny tiny seeds also I'm just gonna cover them up. Love lemon balm, it smells so good. You can use it to do a cleaner. You can use it to make teas. Um, just for scent. A lot of times I'll take it and make a bundle and hang it in my chicken coop. Just has some fresh herbs hanging. Okay, I'm gonna do my next layer. And you see, I'll take it, slide it down. They interlock. And just get them to where they connect to each other. There we go. And I'll get this one prepared, and then I'll bring you back. Got a little mountain mint in this one. Mint, you want to keep contained because it will spread everywhere. It's kind of like oregano. It'll do the same thing. And your lemon balms. I have some of them in my garden beds and in containers. Um, you have to kind of keep them under control. lightly cover that one and then I'll bring you back for the next one next one I'm doing is tarragon and again it's little bitty seeds let me get um, some fresh dirt on top and we'll put these down and let me bring you up just a little bit little bitty seeds too like I said I'm just gonna sprinkle a few some of these I've never grown before so this is a it's gonna be a good experience to see how they turn out the next layer next one I'm doing is summer savory
And this one we're going to do lavender in. There are small seeds also. Well, I do have a little lavender bed. I finally got some to grow last year, my first time, and they overwintered well. And I will try to show you them at some point. I'll try to do a little garden tour one day. I'm just going to cover these up lightly. I'm going to go up a layer, and I'll bring you back. Next, I'm doing marjoram. Alright, I'm going to finish that one up and I'll bring you back for the next one. Next one is Italian Oregano. Ooh, they're tiny. It's hard to barely see where they're going. Let me get my dirt. I'm going to cover them up, and then I'll bring you back for the next one. I'm doing cilantro. I'm cutting about five in each thing. Cilantro is a little hard to get to come up sometimes. Sometimes it does really good, and other times it, it doesn't, and then it'll bolt. Because it likes more of a cooler weather. So these may not do as well where it's getting a little warmer now. But we're going to try. And I'm going to cover them up. And then I'm going to top it with one more probably. I just got to figure out what I'm going to put in that one. The last one I'm going to do is cumin. Because um, I use this a lot and I would love to have my own to be able to utilize. Let me get my packet open. Okay, I got them on a little brown, you see. I'm just going to cover those up, and I'll bring you back as I water it in. All right, I'm going to water these in with the shower nozzle. Soak them all the way through. And I'll bring you back when I get this finished. Okay, both towers are watered in. Once the stuff starts coming up, I'll end up putting some chicken wire around this just to keep the chickens out of it. And this is my lettuce tower. It has spinach in the top, different types of lettuce. Had a couple that didn't make it. But most all of them did, but one or two with the cold and everything we had. So I may pick some tonight and make us a, sa a salad. I'm just going to water these in. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll try to bring you along later once I get um, the seeds up and going.